name is Vinay Bharadwaj. I'm a doctor and I work with Rho. Uh, in this video, we're going to continue our conversation about carbohydrates and uh, our diet where we are bringing down the amount of carbohydrate that you eat on a daily basis. One of the problems or one of the difficult issues with a low-carb diet is carbohydrate withdrawal. When you eat sugar, especially you know processed, highly refined sugars, they actually make drugs very similar to narcotics in your brain. They actually addict you. Sugars are addictive things. They can actually be more addictive than many of the street drugs that people uh, abuse out there. So when you are withdrawing from carbohydrates, when you're limiting them, you will feel certain changes happen. You'll feel a little tired. You'll feel cranky. You may get um, emotional. And you won't feel, if you're a person who exercises normally, you might want to skip those days when you're going through car withdrawal because you're going to feel almost like you have the flu or influenza. That's why we, many people call it the car flu. So how do you manage this? Well, as with, with withdrawing from any drug, you just have to tough it out. It normally takes two to three days. You want to get as much sleep as you can. You want to hydrate very well, drink as much water as you can. And electrolytes are very important. So the salts in your food, uh, having nimbupani rather than just plain water might help you even more. Any foods that are high in magnesium help with carb withdrawal. And any foods that have sugar in them will ruin your carbohydrate withdrawal. You'll feel very good at first, but then you'll have to go back into withdrawal because you went off the diet. So try and when you're going through carb flu, you're going to be, um, you're going to want that chocolate cake. You're going to want that sugary food. Avoid it 